Hello, welcome to my crash course on setting up Dandori Desktop, a modding tool for Pikmin 4. Uh, if you're new to modding, it's a bit complicated to set up, and a lot of people are getting it wrong, so this might help you if you're one of those people. So step one, you'd fmodel, which is a tool to extract files from games, from Switch games. Uh, all the tools you need will be linked in, in the description below. Although I assume most people probably have these. So to start with, you need to point F model at a completely legal dump of Pikmin 4. Uh, get that yourself. I'm assuming you have that already. So to start with, uh, you want to go into carrot4switch.utok and then drill down to carrot4 content, carrot4, find the maps folder. You want to right click, export folders packages as raw U asset, not as JSON, as raw U asset. This will export to some folder on your PC, wherever you set up or to go to. Uh, for me, it's in this, this folder here. So next, you want to download P4 U Asset Editor, which again, linked in the description. It will look like this. Extract it somewhere on your PC, doesn't matter where. Next, you want to copy paste your maps folder into the input folder of the U Asset Editor. That will then copy all the files across, obviously. And once that is done, you want to run decode.bat which is going to chug through all of the maps in the game. So it's going to take a lot of time. So you might say, why can't we just export them as JSON? Well, if you do that, you actually only get this object, which contains the generator list that we need, but not the content array or the extra object, which the game actually, or the tooling actually needs to reconstruct the files back to U assets. So you will not be able to repack your mod if you do that. So don't. <laughs> uh, just export them as, as U asset, and decode them. So once that's done, everything will go into the underscore edit folder of the US editor. And we can see that we have the maps now, except there's actually a, a chunk of files we just don't need, and we don't want to, to package in our mod either. So rather than painstakingly taking them all out one by one, um, I wrote tooling into DDT to do this for you. So if you go to tools of Dandori desktop, extract files from maps, and you want to go into the edit folder, click on maps, and this is indeed your maps folder. Don't click on any of these, just leave it as this folder. So that will then create this Dandori desktop carrot 4 folder in there that you need. So you copy and paste, or copy this, take this up into the edit folder of UAsset Editor, and paste it. You can delete your original now, because you don't want any more. Next, if you rename I just chop off this Dandori desktop prefix and leave it as carrot4, which contains maps. And that is your carrot, yeah, that's your carrot4 folder sorted out. So next in Dandori desktop, if you go to settings, carrot4 folder, we then go to the folder we just made, carrot4, and we set it as our carrot4 folder. So this is because we don't have enemies exported yet. If you want to use the object editor, you can do the exact same thing by exporting the placeables as U assets as well, decoding them, and then you'll, they'll also get taken out into the same folder as via DDT. So now we actually have all the maps loaded in. So you can now edit things and do whatever you want to them, change all the uh, enemies. So if you now want to export these as a mod, you need to do a few more things. So if you go to encoder folder and set this as the root of your P4 US editor folder. Note that it does contain a P4 US editor folder as well, but not this one, the one that contains this one and edit and all these. So you set that, you get this nice little thing. You also need Castock, which is the tooling we use to repackage these uh, U assets as pack mods. So if you download that and extract it anywhere on your PC, you go to Castock folder, and then you just choose the folder and set it, root directory, same as you did for encoder. Next is to do output packs folder, which is probably a folder within your emulator, like either probably Yuzu or Ryujin. Uh, mine is this random folder within Yuzu that I made, uh, which I call test mod, and you want this folder path within it, and you want to set your output folder as the packs directory within, within it that's where your built mod will export to. You can then just start your emulator and it will be there. So once you've set all those things up, you can, you can make the changes that you want to make. Click on tools, save entities to JSON. That will save them back to the raw JSON folder. 
except you now need to actually bundle these into a mod into your emulator. So if you just run tools and then deploy to emulator, it'll encode the JSONs with the US editor. So they'll actually get uh, the same, the same as running this encode.pat, they'll get put into the output folder. If you have the entire map structure like I now do here, this can actually take a little while because there is a lot of files within this structure. So if the toasts go away, you will probably hear your PC fans spinning up like mine are now. Uh, it is still happening in the background. Uh, hold fire. If it actually doesn't work, you will see not these things pop up, basically. And then once you see this packs copied to your output folder, that's what these are. So these are our new, our new files. You can now just start Pitman 4 and your mod should be loaded in. If it crashes or a level doesn't load, then you've probably done something a bit wrong. Or my code's done something wrong. Could be either one. Uh, if you need help, post in the Hockertate Hacker Discord, or you can use the help repo to go to the actual code repo, and you can post an issue up on GitHub as well. Um, I'll respond to these, or ping me on Discord, and I'll try to help as much as I can. Good luck and happy modding.